almost a decade back, Audi was ruling the luxury car market in India. And the Q3 was one of the strongest reasons for its established position. The car was stylish to look at. It was loaded with all the latest tech and features, was comfortable and at the same time was fun behind the wheel. Now with the new Audi Q3, Audi India is trying to regain that position again in the Indian car market and at the time when the competition has grown quite potently as well. So can the new Audi Q3 deliver on all those fronts is exactly what we are going to find out in this review. I am Subham Russia. you are watching Park Plus, your car app, do subscribe to the channel, do hit the bell icon to stay notified and do head to the app for all the updates in the Indian car bazaar. Let's start. लेकिन शुरुआत करने से पहले आई हैव एन एक्साइटिंग न्यूज फॉर यू सीजन टू ऑफ द पार्क प्लस पेट्रोल लीग और पीपीएल इज गोइंग लाइफ वेरी सून एंड दिस टाइम यू कैन विन बिग लास्ट ईयर 20 लाख पीपल वन पेट्रोल वर्थ रुपीज फिफ्टी क्रोर एंड दिस टाइम देर आर बिगर प्राइजेस इंक्लूडिंग अ मेगा बंपर प्राइस सो इफ यू हैव एन डाउनलोडेड द पार्क प्लस एप येट वॉट आर यू वेटिंग फॉर गो हेड एंड डू दैट एंड गेट सेट टू विन बिग तो चलिए शुरुआत करते हैं लुक्स के साथ एंड व्हाट आई रियली लव अबाउट द न्यू ऑडी क्यू थ्री आर द प्रपोशन स्टेम सेल्फ द एस यू वी लुक्स क्वाइट स्टाइलिश एंड हैज गॉट दैट प्रीमियम एलिगेंट एस यू वी फ्लेवर गोइंग क्वाइट स्ट्रॉन्ग विथ इट द फेस लुक्स एम्पोजिंग एंड स्टाइलिश कर्ट सी दिस मैसिव ग्रिल एंड हैज गॉट जस्ट द राइट अमाउंट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रास्ट हियर ऑन द फेस नाइस सैटन सिल्वर फिनिश अराउंड द ग्रिल दैट हैज गॉट एन एजियो एंड नाइस सिमिलर कॉन्ट्रास्ट ऑन द बम्पो एज वेल sleek dash plate and the grille is flanked by this led headlight with nice arrow like drl pattern now overall has that bold flavor going on with it and what i also like is that the face doesn't look too busy yes again looks very elegant and the same can be said about the profile now in profile the q3 looks quite well balanced not overly humongous or not too compact and the character lines wherever they are they are sharp but doesn't look too busy as well in terms of contrast similar contrast you have with the satin silver roof rails and nice window line finish as well but the only thing not working for me are the alloy wheels these are 18 inches and i have no complaints with the size ample profile as well but the silver finish on the alloy wheels or the design just looks a bit too simple to me now i would have really loved to have a sexy set of wheels which could have given it a way sportier stance now the rear the new audi q3 is quite recognizable because the overall design looks quite similar to the previous generation just that the whole affair has gotten a bit sharper and azure the boot gate has more prominent lines the tail light with wrap around treatment these are led tail lights again looks quite sleek and retains the sloping window line right here the bumper has gotten a bit chunkier sports dual exhaust tips and nice contrast with the bash plate finish right there but if you want an even sexier design there's audi q3 sport back as well that has a proper coupe roof line right there more on that coming in another video and with that let's go and check out the cabin Now it's on the inside where the Audi Q3 will feel more new and fresh and the changes are for good. I love the design of the dashboard, quite well segregated and nice choice of color options and materials. You have got this piano black treatment on the center and driver side of the dashboard and good contrast on the co-driver side in terms of silver finish and nice texture on the dashboard as well. Soft touch upholstery bhi aapko kafi decently use milti hai on the dashboard and on the door pads and it has got that premium car appeal again similar contrast on the central console as well and if you will be nitpicking you know the quality of plastic might look a bit flimsy as far as luxury car standards are concerned but other than that it retains that premium car appeal everywhere now what i love even more are the front seats because very comfortable quite well bolstered good side support as well and i will be comfortable on them on a longer commute and will be easy for me to spend hours more than that it comes with lumbar adjustment as well now both front seats are powered seats i have got ample adjustment options and adjustment options for the lumbar support as well so again will keep me more comfortable 
though it misses out on the ventilation function so these seats are not cool seats that is a miss and what again is a miss is that you don't get wireless apple carplay and android auto so to connect apple carplay and android auto you will have to resort to this wire but again not a major miss in my opinion you have a 10.1 inch touchscreen infotainment system graphics are quite sharp quite crisp and again it's very fluidic and very cool to use now i like the fonts i like the interface the ui is quite good and quite easy for me to read and comes with all the adjustment options you need so you have got the inbuilt navigation you have got ambient lighting adjustments all settings right in the screen and the ambient lighting itself i like the subtle treatment because it is not too flashy and i like just the way it is now there's a digital instrument cluster the virtual cockpit right in front of me with digital dials has all the information you'll ever need on the go comes with navigation view you have a full screen navigation view as well and you have got those big dial options as well so again whatever you are preferring and again i love the graphics love the overall treatment and on the go i don't need to take my eyes off the road and what i like again even more is that aapko yahan par proper physical buttons milte hain for the climate control system you have got a dual zone climate control system in the audi q3 with proper tactile buttons good knurled finish so again quite retro and quite premium and in terms of adjustment you have got all the adjustment right here the better part is that you don't need to take your eyes off the road because aapko yahan par dual screen setup nahi milta hai like we have seen on more expensive audi cars and i personally prefer these more speaking of more features you have got auto dimming rear view mirror all three mirrors the inner rear view mirror and the outer rear view mirrors are auto dimming you have got a panoramic sunroof and you have got wireless charger electric parking brake but at the same time the cabin feels more practical as well at the same time it has got you covered on the safety front as well there are six airbags on offer electronic stability program 360 degree camera view the cabin is also practical you have got nice pocket for holding glass bottle so deep enough good storage space in the central console nice bin under the armrest that comes with level adjustment wireless charging pad as i said and nice pin to keep additional phone in the cup holder as well and speaking of practicality you have a 530 liters of boot space with quite practical storage spaces as well like ya side mein ek chota pocket hai jahan par aap aaram se bottles wagera bhi store kar sakte ho in fact you can put three 1 liter bottles right here and more storage to keep your first aid kit and safety net and you also have a 12 volt charging socket now the boot space itself though the loading lip is a bit higher but depth is quite good and despite the space saver which is tucked in nicely in the boot you can store ample luggage for four in this boot and not to mention has got this power tailgate as well Now under the hood the new Audi Q3 gets a 2 liter 4 cylinder turbo petrol TFSI engine that belts out 187 brake horsepower at 4200 to 6000 rpm and 320 newton meters of peak torque from 1500 to 4100 rpm and the engine is mated to a 7 speed dual clutch automatic gearbox that sends power to all the four wheels yes it has got the four wheel drive or the all wheel drive quattro system and it clocks triple digit speeds the 0 to 100 km per hour run in 7.2 seconds further clocking the top speed of 222 km per hour and now it's time for me to see how all that feels on the road so let's get behind the wheel now in the last couple of days i have driven the audi q3 quite extensively have clocked somewhere around 500 km and straight away i'll give you one thing that the engine is a hoot behind the wheel and not only that it brings a good balance between performance and fuel economy could see all the modes you have because in the city i have been using mostly the efficient mode and honestly i don't feel that you often need to switch to any other mode as far as you are driving in the city because I'm easily getting somewhere around 
14 kilometers per liter and i am driving normally like i am not hyper miling i am not pushing it too hard just the way i used to drive and 14 kilometers per liter means that this luxury suv is not going to dig a hole in your pocket and yes as far as luxury car standards are concerned and as far as a 2 liter turbo petrol engine is concerned that fuel economy figure makes it actually frugal and then honestly you won't actually find any lag in the performance as well because in the city easily you can manage 60 70 kilometers per hour and that's mostly the speed limit in the city and whenever you're overtaking or whenever you're navigating through the city traffic there still is a decent response from the engine obviously it's been a bit dulled out in efficient mode but it still does the job and the steering feels very light and very nimble in the city and it's very easy to maneuver also has a good turning radius so to park in a tight spot or just to cut through a tight traffic situation makes it very easy so as far as my daily commuter is concerned i think the audi q3 fits the bill quite well in the luxury car territory now when i come to highway then i am mostly using the comfort mode jab tak main cruise kar raha hu aaram se because again the power delivery is quite satisfying i'm easily doing triple digit speed around 100 105 kilometers per hour there's no lag from the engine obviously it's not as punchy but it still does the job quite well even on the highway makes highway cruising effortless and yes this is an effortless cruiser you can easily munch miles but when you need real performance from the engine just switch to dynamic and it comes to its own really shines and the performance makes it quite fun behind the wheel yes now overtaking on highways or you know getting that punch from the engine that strong pull it's very easy when you're driving in dynamic and making quick overtakes again you don't need any planning with that because all the power is at your disposal and the best part is that the power delivery is quite evenly spread out throughout the rift band so the lower end you get a good surge of torque there so whenever you launch the car or whenever you just push it to make that quick overtake you have a good response whenever you are below 2000 rpm as well now what i really love is the push that you get in the mid range in the audi q3 now we are familiar with this engine and its responses just similarly even in the q3 so in the mid range very easy to maintain triple digit speeds very easy to you know maintain a good speed and keep on going keep on munching miles so yes as far as response is concerned very easy and the gearbox again it is very quick to downshift as in dynamic even in comfort it is not slow but in dynamic very quick to downshift and again just getting that extra add-on from the performance is very easy whenever you are doing around two like over 2000 uh, rpm so if you're around 3000 3500 rpm and the good part is that even when you push it harder towards the top end like it pulls right to 6000 rpm and honestly whenever there's an upshift there's no lack of power and there's no head knot as such it's very linear and very smoothly spread out throughout the rift band so that is something which i really love about the engine honestly no complaints from the engine at all the power delivery is something that is just never going to disappoint you so really love that characteristic now when it comes to ride and handling you have two aspects hote hain first the way suspension has been tuned and eventually audi has been mastering that for indian driving condition for indian road conditions the suspension feels very much at home it feels very nicely tuned on the road because it soaks up all the undulations on the roads pretty well i really love the way it just goes about on them yes the ski low speed ride quality hai wahan par thoda sa issue of feel kar rahe hain because you will get to hear that pitter patter whenever you are going through speed breakers or potholes and 
it might feel just a bit stiff to you but just pick up the pace and everything becomes so poised it feels so planted on the road and you know that is very confidence inspiring very reassuring when you're whenever you're behind the wheel especially when you're cornering the car because around corners again it feels very settled as far as you're maintaining reasonable speed so let's say if i'm taking a long bend or a corner at around 80 km per hour honestly the car feels very much settled and all the passengers inside the cabin again they are not going to complain and that is something which i quite like it still feels very pointy body rolls are contained there and that's why it has a very good balance between ride and handling obviously it is slightly taller so you are going to feel a bit of that body roll whenever you are going you know you are going around triple digit mark around corners but as far as you are maintaining 80 90 km per hour that is not going to bother you at all and similarly when you are changing lanes because let's say even if i'm changing lanes at around triple digit speeds around at around 100 110 115 km per hour you know i really don't need to slow down and that is something which i really like i can keep on maintaining that triple digit speed and i can again keep on munching miles now similarly when it comes to steering feedback the second aspect i really love how audi has been working on that because you know it feels very direct very pointy and even at high speed it weighs up very nicely and is reassuring whenever you are you know cornering whenever you are changing lanes so you have a good command on the nose of the car you exactly know what your wheels are up to you know it has come very close to bmw's as far as steering feedback is concerned if not exactly there and now coming to the braking performance now at lower speed it might feel just a bit snappy uh, because the bites are quite strong and you know at lower speed it might just feel that it is just bogging down a bit but when you speed up you have a very progressive feedback from the brakes because it masks down on the speed quite well and even on a hard braking situation so whenever you really slam the brake you have a good control even on the rear end of the car because it is able to maintain that line and that for me is a good safety aspect about the car the braking performance again is not going to disappoint you and now the new audi q3 also gets off road mode now it is a soft roader still but yes the quattro all wheel drive system helps you whenever you are going over loose surfaces whenever you are going you know over roads which require more traction the wheels are like whenever you are driving over black ice so still it has aids to favor that and the ground clearance is ample for indian road conditions or even when you face a really bad section of road or when you are going slightly off road so yes this can still manage mild off road situation as well and last but not the least if you want to leave everything on to the car you have auto mode as well which actually just as your throttle responses and lets the engine and gearbox behave just according to that so all in all if you want a good balance between performance and fuel economy on the highway or in the city the audi q3 is quite capable of delivering that and if you want a strong punch from the engine if you want to enjoy that performance again the audi q3 favors that quite strongly with a slight compromise on the fuel economy side So now at the rear of the Audi Q3 and honestly knee room or leg room is not a concern for me because it's more than enough it's sufficient now the only drawback here at the rear seat is that fitting in three people will be difficult for four the cabin is quite comfortable but middle passenger ko fit karna bahut mushkil hoga because tall transmission tunnel hai and even the middle seat is not a proper seat for children again you can fit a child easily here now on the plus side the cushioning is quite comfortable the seat is well bolstered so i am comfortable in that regard 
yes could have been slightly higher in terms of position to mujhe bahar ki view zyada achhi milti and that would have helped me you know whenever i am on a longer commute mujhe bahut zyada hemmed in feel nahi hota wahan pe but as far as ride quality is concerned again i am very comfortable at the rear seat as well because audi q3 scores very well as far as ride quality and comfort is concerned you know it soaks up all the undulations i'm not feeling too much of vertical or lateral movements here at the rear seat whenever the chauffeur is cruising and even when he's changing lanes i'm quite composed and settled so yes ride quality ke mamle mein scores pretty well few features that could have been added were rear sun blind or i cannot see any charging port at the rear so i think that is a big miss in my opinion do yahan par aapko cup holders milte hain armrest mein and good position सीट में भी आपको एज सच रिक्लाइन नहीं मिलता बट येस यू हैव अ गुड स्पेस टू कीप योर फोन एंड वॉलेट योर एट द साइड सो नाइस टच देर एज वेल नाउ पैनोरामिक सन रूफ इट हेल्प्स टू लेट द लाइट इन एंड आई डोंट फील हेम्ड इन ग्लास हाउस एरिया भी इज डिसेंट इनफ फॉर मी सो ओवरऑल अगेन आई कैन स्पेंड लॉन्ग आवर्स एट द रियल सीट ऑफ द आउडी क्यू थ्री एंड आई विल बी कम्फर्टेबल स्टिल So finally what's the park plus for day now i agree that the entry level luxury car bazaar is full of options but the audi q3 brings a very balanced proposition at that price point it still is stylish to look at is comfortable is loaded with all the necessary latest tech and features and is quite fun behind the wheel at the same time delivering quite good on the frugality aspect as well so if you are out in the market to shop for a compact luxury suv the audi q3 can be a very well rounded proposition you can pick and on that note do subscribe to the park plus channel do hit the bell icon to stay notified and to head to the app for all the updates in the indian car bazaar i'll see you in the next video